good day everyone another day and another learning for you to have some fun i'm teacher i and i'm your subject teacher for computer seven so for our first week we're going to have the first part of lesson one which is all about exploring the ms or the microsoft windows environment so first are you familiar with the word operating system Okay, so let's identify what is an operating system. So it is a software manager that manages computer hardware and other software. It is the software in which all other software will install on, and it will also manage the resources. And despite the different operating systems available in the market, like we have Apple Mac OS, Microsoft Windows, remember children, when you saw the acronym OS, it stands for Operating System. Okay, so going back, we have Microsoft Windows, Linux, Google Android OS, and also the Apple iOS. But the most preferred OS or operating system is, of course, the Microsoft Windows. Okay, so now let's have the history or a little history about Microsoft Windows. So Microsoft Windows is a family of graphical operating system developed by Microsoft Corporation. And we have this called the General Motors Company. Uh, General Motors Company is uh, produced the first operating system in 1956 for the IBM 704 computer. And the International Business Machines Corporation or IBM produced more computers and mainframes which triggered the development of more OS. So let's have the Windows overview. So, first, let's have the Microsoft. As you can see, this is the logo of Microsoft in 1975 and uh, in 20. this one is in 2012. So, Microsoft was founded in April 4, 1975 to be exact, to develop and sell interpreters, a basic computer program for early computers. And then on 1980, after five years, personal computer or PC became popular. And then we have the Windows 1.0. Okay. So this is the first Windows. Okay, so it was released in November 20, 1985. It was a graphical multitasking operating system and supported computer peripherals such as mice or mouse com keyboards and printers. And it is the first first version of the Windows family. Next to Windows 1.0 is, of course, the Windows 2.0. This one is created in December 1987. And from then on, several versions were released. And then we have also the, after Windows 2.0, we have Windows 3.0. And this was released in 1990. And then after that, we have the Windows NT. Uh, Windows NT is a subfamily of the Windows OS, and it introduced the interface that we are familiar with now as improvements regarding computer resources were introduced. And under that, we have the Windows NT 3.1. Okay, so which was made for servers and workstations. And it is the first operating system under Windows NT under Windows NT that is released on July 27, 1993. And now we have the very famous Windows XP. So Windows XP, it is one of the most popular and most successful operating system of Microsoft. And this was uh, released or launched on October 25, 2001. It dominated the market for operating system during its time with over 1 billion copies by, by April 2014. And next to Windows XP is we have the Windows Vista. 
So this one is released in November 30, 2000 and 2006. And it improved the visual design of the Windows OS. And it introduced glass-like windows. As you can see in here, glass-like windows which allow transparent panes over the windows. And this is called as Windows Aero. This glass-like windows effect is called Windows Aero. And we also have the Windows 7. So, this one is released in October 22, 2009 and retained how the Windows Vista improved the graphical user into interface, but fixed most of the problem of its predecessor. After Windows 7, we have the Windows 8. So, Windows 8 is released on October 26, 2012 and it featured an entirely new user interface that introduced tiles. This is what we call the tiles, as you can see, which were square, non-transparent panels that were easier to click, especially for touchscreen devices. After Windows 8, we have the Windows 10. This one is released in July 29, 2015. It integrated features targeted for touch screen while considering regular screens by introducing the tablet mode and also the PC mode. And of course, we have the very latest, which is the Windows 11. So this is the latest operating system in the Windows family. And this one is released last October 5, 2021. Okay, so now we're done with the MS Windows overview. Now, let's, oh, for example, we're going to open your computer or your PC. So, upon starting the computer, Windows may seek the user to identify which user will be used. Okay? Just like this one. So, a computer may have several users or profiles created by an administrator. These are the different profiles. As you can see, we have different profiles in here. Okay, so who is an administrator? Administrator is someone who controls the settings and features of the OS. And a profile may prompt for a password or not. So now let's study some parts of the Windows desktop. We have here five parts only. So first part is the of course, we have the desktop. When we say desktop, it pertains to the first screen that loads when starting up the windows. It can contain the icons. These are the icons. And can also be a location where files can be saved. Next, next part is the this one. It is called the taskbar. So, taskbar is found on the bottom part of the screen, as you can see, and it has the start button. This is the start button on the leftmost or in the middle, and pin programs in the middle, and the system tray on the right. This is the system, this, this is the system tray. Next, number three is, of course, we have the start button. This is the start button. Or what we call the Windows logo. And after you open the Start button, you're going to see the Start menu. This is the Start menu. It shows more programs which the user can click in order to be launched. And lastly, is we have the... Okay, this is the System Tray. So, System Tray, this is what a System Tray looks like. As you can see... A system tray is a section of taskbars in the Microsoft Windows operating system user interface that provides easy access icons to the user's most commonly used apps and it also displays the clock. As you can see, we have here the date, time, the battery percentage, the weather, uh, the volume settings, so on and so forth. Okay. So now, we're going to work with the Windows desktop icons. So, Windows desktop icon can be, these are the Windows desktop icons. This one. So, you can see these are the Windows desktop icons. 
So Windows desktop icon can be dragged around which allows the user to organize icons. So you can drag this one. If you want to put it here, you can drag it. Sometimes it may happen, it may happen that there are too many icons resulting to what? Messy desktop. So what are you going to do if you want to hide the icons? If you want to hide the icons on your desktop, so what are you going to do is, first you're going to right click any blank area of the desktop. So you're going to click your mouse on the right part. And then after you click it, as you can see, you're going to click view. This is the view. Okay, after you click view, you're going to see different things like large icons, medium icons. But what are you going to do is you're going to uncheck the show desktop icons. As you can see, this is being checked. But what are you going to do is you're going to uncheck it. And after you uncheck it, the icons will disappear. But it will not be deleted. And if you wanted it to uh, appear again, you're just going to check it. Now, let's move on to the files and folders. So, file. What is a file? When we say file, it is any single resource that stores information created by a program and continues to be available to the user or other program even if the program that created has stopped executing. What are examples of files? You have the document text, mp3, mp4, jpeg, gif, png, um, pdf, vob, rar, and so on and so forth. And how about a file name? What is a file name? Files have a file name uh, which the user assigns. File name can have up to 260 characters including the file path. Okay, so for example, this one. This is the file name of this PowerPoint presentation. It's up to you if what name are you going to put in it. So it says here, file name can have up to 260 characters, including the file path. When you say file path, children, it is the complete address of the file. Okay, and lastly, is we have the folder. So folder is the specific location where files can be saved. So folders help us in organizing files by creating subfolders or folders within a folder so that our desktop will not get messy at all. So that's it. That's the end of our lesson. See you next week for another fun day activity. Goodbye and thank you.